Hello everyone, I'm Isaac and we're back with the wine talk. So let's do a one more video before Shavuot. And then one of the questions that I hear a lot is like, what am I going to drink with my cheesecake and my blintzes? Guess what I have in store? I'm thinking something sparkling, this gal, brut. 50% Chardonnay, 50% Pinot Noir. This is what we call a méthode traditionnelle, which means that the wine is made, but not completed, and then is finished in the bottle. Fermentation is happening in the bottle, second fermentation. That's why we have bubbles. But that means what? That means bubbles are naturally occurring in the bottle. They're not added to the wine. So the very fine bubbles and some nice creaminess. So I'm spinning the bottle because I do not want to hear the boom is that will kill all bubbles. This is not what happens. This is you just want to get this. There. I'm going to like this. So I get all this foamy stuff going around. For your blintzes, it's going to be creamy in your mouth. Those bubbles are clearing your palate every time you eat. Exactly what I was looking for. You know, Jack, it's a little citrusy. Crispy, and apple flavor to it. What sides my cheesecake or my blintz is, you know what? I could have that with a nice triple cream brie or camembert or even on its own. Why not? Bubbles, friends, Shavuot, Lechaim, Chaksameach. Oh, one more thing. You know what you do with the bottle? Leave it if you don't finish it. Leave it open in the fridge and we'll keep your bubbles alive. Sameach.